Hey Plant Pals, my Kiata Gardener, and this is my harvest I got inside. I got this on Monday. Some uh, cherry tomatoes and some of the red fire peppers that are still going like crazy. It's trying to reach beyond the, the, the touching towards the light now. And I got some herbs earlier but I forgot to show that I froze them tons and tons of herbs the tomato that I'm letting get ripe that was an outside one so that one doesn't count <laughs> all right and I will be back with what I harvested today on Tuesday okay so as uh, anybody who watches the channel knows I've been dealing with squirrels Look how beautiful this tomato is. Nice big fat tomato. Would be great if it got ripe, but look what the squirrel did. Little jerk. Tree rat. Chewed a hole in one of my best tomatoes. So, I took all the green tomatoes and brought them in before he could chew on them. I saw some are, a few of them are like cat face. Whoops. Just dropped one. Oh, good. Didn't fall on the floor. <laughs> so this... Here's a nice one. This is a split. This is a cat face tomato. It's still good. Go over. This is this big daddy here. Nothing wrong with him. So, well, there's a hole there, but it's fine. It's been healed up. But yeah. So, got a couple of decent ones. I'm gonna let these get ripe inside so that they. A little rat can't get to them. Here's some kale I got for a salad tonight. There's extras I couldn't stack up on the uh, other ones. I had so many. Here's a nice Roma. Again, let this one get ripe inside before the squirrel gets to it. Got some peppers. Got a couple more onions. And a few little uh, cherry tomatoes I got from outside. Alright. So, that was my harvest on Tuesday. And the one the squirrel chewed on, which is going in the garbage. And so I like, I wonder if I can save seeds from it. If I let it get ripe, and I save some seeds, maybe I can grow it again next year. Yeah, we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.